What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about rush fees. Once in a while, you have a client that just has unrealistic expectations and they're telling you like, hey, I need a video shot this Friday. I need it ready Saturday morning or Monday, whatever the situation must be. So we gotta hit them with the rush fee. Any other business does this and us being filmmakers or photographers, there's no difference at all. So here are three things to consider if you should charge your client a rush fee. Number one, do you have to work outside of your normal hours of operation? This could be, you know, Monday to Friday, nine to five. If you have to stay up late to get this project done for them in a short amount of time, hit them with a rush fee. Number two, do you have to move other client projects out of the way to be able to get this done for them? Number three, you have to move your current plans around to make this happen for them. A client's tight timeline is not your problem, but theirs. And for that, they should get hit with their rush fee. Now, how do you charge for a rush fee? Normally, I would say, let's say I'm charging $1,000 for a short 30 second video for a company. And they're like, hey, I need this done by tomorrow morning. We, we gotta get this video up. We gotta get, we gotta get the people talking about it. Great. A good rule of thumb for this is to charge them 50% of the normal cost that you would actually charge them. So in this sense, I'll charge them $1,500, which would be $1,000 by base rate, and then $500 for the rush fee. Now, other things to consider, you know, are they a pain to work with? Um, you know, are they gonna give you more headaches along the way? So for this, you could charge them whatever you want, you know, because at the end of the day, you're the one that has to deal with that client and you're having to put yourself in a very tight timeline. You should be able to charge them whatever you want. And then if they don't want to work with you, you know, they just find somebody else. So how do you add the rush fee? And you give your client the proposal, you're gonna give them the regular amount price of everything that you're doing. And then as a line item, you're gonna put rush fee in there. And actually, I use the same kind of theory and principle when I give a client a discount. I'll put the discount within that price so they actually see what they're getting off the total project. So normally adding the rush fee into the line item will actually have the client realize one thing. Maybe they're not really in a rush. And we've seen that all the time. I, we, I'm still working on projects that are kind of backed up eight months because I'm waiting for a client to give me revisions when they told me they needed it done within the next month. So having that line item, having a huge fee on there, really let you know how serious they are about getting this done or not. You know, so your expertise and your time has a lot of value. So, you know, slap on the rush fee. If you guys found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you guys wanna learn next. All this info that I just passed on to you guys, I got from Michael Jenda's Instagram handle. Go check him out, super helpful dude, a lot of great content, but I wanted to kind of relate this to you guys out there working on these quick rush projects for clients. Like I said, hit them with the rush fee, and now you know what to do. I'll see you guys next time, peace.